Hello, in this video we're going to see how you can set up in eBay the three business policies you need to run effectively and efficiently your business on eBay and to be able to pick them in Namble and use Namble to bulk list or even list one single item into your eBay account. I am in one of our test uh, Nemble accounts and I have one eBay account set up. I click on settings and you'll see the four main groups of uh, settings, eBay settings within Nemble and we see list to eBay. I open it and scroll to the bottom and here there's shipping policy, payment policy, return policies that must be set. If you check open in the select box uh, of the shipping policy here there's four policies. These four policies are not created by sellers within Nemble. Same for payment policies and for return policies. They are all created by the seller, by you, within your eBay account. And when Nemble connects to your eBay account, sees them, receives them from eBay and allows you here to pick one of them for all your subsequent listings. So when you check and pick one of these policies and you click save changes at the bottom this policy will be applied to all your subsequent listings you do with Nemble and not to the listings you've done before so back to shipping there's four policies and here now I move on eBay and you go in your account settings and scrolling towards the bottom we can see there's business policies I click on it and you can see here I have two payment policies, one, two return policies, and one, two, three shipping policies. And if I go back in Nemble, I open the shipping policies, that there's four of them. So those three, ground 29, free shipping, Nemble, and one more, but you can see there's also in bracket at the far left, CA for Canada and US from United States. This allows international sellers to use their eBay account on different international eBay locals to see all their policies in one unique place. So let's imagine I want to create a new shipping policy. I go in eBay and I click create policy. I get the choice of what policy I want to create and I pick the shipping policy. Here, the main things I will do are picking a name for my newly created policy, add a description, which helps me understanding and remembering why such policy exists, right? Then, here you can see I'm in the United States because we are within our US eBay account. And the first thing we can decide is whether I want a flat shipping, which actually charges the same cost to all your users indifferently from what they buy and indifferently for how far is the shipment and how difficult is actually handing out the good. And the alternative is to have a calculated shipping which uh, is going to calculate how much the buyer is paying for delivery depending on distance, difficulty and dimension in volume and weight of what they bought. These calculations are based on the price list of the carriers. So you go further down and you can select your service. This means that eBay has agreements with a bunch of carriers and all their price lists are embedded already within eBay system. So of course you can ship how you want, but if you pick one of these guys here, USPS and uh, FedEx, uh, UPS, etc., the calculation is going to be performed exactly by eBay systems based on their price lists. Further up, you can uh, decide whether you can combine different orders and different goods within the same shipment and, and provide a discount. And uh, how long is your handling time? This is the time that passes between when the buyer pays, completes the order, and when you as a seller or maybe your warehouse manager hands to the carrier the package to be shipped. Let me say two business days. If you want to charge a handling cost, so on top of whatever the carriers calculates or whatever you ask, very few business do so, but you have an option here. Then further down, you can decide if you're actually offering international shipping. 
yes, no, and if it's again calculated or flat. And that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, of course, where you ship, UK, Europe, then you can pick throughout Europe, what countries, etc. Different eBay national locals may offer slightly or even strongly different interfaces to define how you ship. Of course, UPS Germany has different mechanics as opposed to UPS United States. Same for other carriers. DHL is very strong in Europe, is maybe less present or less used in the United States, although they're very good. And uh, same can be said for FedEx, which is very strong in the United States and a little bit less strong and less present in Europe and maybe in India, China, and so on. So once you saved your uh, new shipment policies, that is video test shipping, I go back in Nimble and I open it again and now we're gonna have the new shipping policy ready to be chosen. You can see video test shipping US. I pick it, I have to pick other payments and return. Now let's see how we can set also the payment policy in eBay. Payment, here it is. You can see I have two payment policies. One is a default and you can actually make, open it and decide that any of your policies is the default. I just changed it. And uh, you can open it and edit it if you don't like it, or you can create a new one. There's very few options that the seller today can pick within the payment policy. eBay is taking care of most aspects because eBay is running payments now. And again, you can define a policy name, a policy description, you can set it as default and uh, you can flag whether you require or not immediate payments for buy it now goods and most importantly you can flag if you accept cash on pickup if you accept checks kind of risky in some countries and if you accept money orders then once you decide all this you save and uh, if you're editing an existing payment policy there's a warning that says hey dude, you are changing this under five listings. And this is a test account of mine. You may have 500 or 5,000, right? So do edits to policies with attention. Let's go into a return policy. And uh, again, I do the edit one. You can see here, you define a name, you write a description, which is optional. And uh, then you decide, you flag if you allow returns or not, you can flag on or off. Bear in mind that many national laws in many jurisdictions impose professional sellers to accept returns. So if you're a professional seller and you're operating in one of those countries, eBay will not accept listings, will return an error directly or maybe through Nemble if your return policy does not accept returns. So returns, yes, how long the seller has before returning. And if they do not return within that time frame, you will not accept the return. Who pays for shipping back? The seller or the buyer? So in most case, the, the buyer returns, or you may choose that it's free for the buyer and that the seller pays for it. And the third one is how the seller gets the money back. If they're going to get well, money back, or if they get a replacement item. So most cases is money back, you get the good, but it really depends on what industry you're in and what product sector and what are the habits and the expectations in your own market. Same, you have the same choices to allow for international returns. You save and you're ready to go with your uh, return policy. Many listing errors Nimble sellers experience are linked at the very beginning with business policies. This is because their business policies may be old or they are not consistent with the product location. Especially shipping policy must be consistent from eBay point of view with where the seller is and where the product is and you define where the product here is here below the shipping policies there's an item location where is it it's in Denmark 
So if you have, uh, or it's in you know, China, or it's in France, you say it's France, and then your shipping policy uses a US carrier, which doesn't ship internationally, eBay is gonna say, hmm, this guy may be either a scammer, or they don't really know what they're doing, and they're going to create a problem for the buyer. Therefore, eBay is gonna stop you from listing such a product with such a shipping policy. So when you list with Nimble and you see an error, click on the error, read through the text of the error, which is returned by eBay. It's not written by myself nor colleagues at Nimble and try to open your product or open your policy and see if there's something maybe odd with it or maybe wrong, especially item location, shipping policy, return, where you can get the return and where the user is. There's a postal code here which goes beyond the national location, right? So you say France and you put um, US zip code, hmm, chances are that eBay realizes it. At the end, you save changes and you try listing one product, not a gazillion product. Just try with one and see how it goes. And when you have problems, you go into eBay, you edit the policy, you save within eBay, you reopen your settings in Nimble, this reloads the policies, you choose them, and they will work from your next listing attempt. I guess that's all for today. Please like the video if you liked it. I wish you great sales, and uh, especially a good rest of the day and a great week ahead, maybe the whole month and the whole year of sales. Cheers, bye.